Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM, following broadcast in 102.3 FM and 106.5 FM. We are serving the world one household at a time. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Kim Yater Peak Performance Coaching. Welcome, welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show with your host, Kim Yater. You're in for a treat. Our next segment in foundation is fitness. And of course, of course, we would have the none other amazing Wes Chandler. Wes, are you there? Hello, Wes Chandler. Having me. Hey, Wes. Pleasure to be here with you today. What an honor to have you here. I got to let our audience know just who you are. I know ears are going. It's Wes Chandler. Yes, it is Wes Chandler. He is the founder and president of WCTE, a company launched in 2019 with an interest in biopharmaceutical market focused on chromatic, traumatic, and cephalopathy, CTE, and traumatic brain injury, which is often found in NFL players, boxers, soccer players, and military veterans suffering from PTSD. Wes Chandler's professional athletic and business background began when he was drafted by the New Orleans Saints with the third overall pick in the 1978 NFL draft. The four-time pro bowler and all-pro performer has over 37 years of football and business experience. That includes 11 NFL seasons as a player, coaching stints at the University of Central Florida, University of Central Berkeley, NFL Europe, one won as head coach of the Berlin Thunder, the Dallas Cowboys, Minnesota Vikings, and Cleveland Browns. Some of his crowning achievements are his induction into the San Diego Chargers Hall of Fame in 2001. His off-the-field work has been a player representative for the Saints, Chargers, and 49ers. He's also served as an executive committee member for nine years. He was one of the seven players to serve and represent the 1,600 NFL players in the capacity, which included the negotiations with NFL owners. This man is up to big things. He has developed NFL players. Uh, pipe, he created the pipeline for players, coaches, officials, trainers, and management, moving them into the NFL. His drive, his passion for, for philanthropy and helping others, especially the youth, and having success in their lives. Wes Chandler, that was a lot to say. You are a rock star. So good to have you here today. It's a pleasure to be here with you as well. Fantastic job. Oh, thank you. Well, you and I had such an incredible conversation the other day. It's such an honor. I see your heart and your passion to truly make a difference. And today we're talking about fitness, right? So when we're talking fitness, what is it, Wes, that fitness means to you? Well, for me, having been a professional athlete, fitness is not just nutrition. Fitness is also a mindset. It's a brain thing. Um, and if, if you're not in the right space and place mentally, it's hard to do all the things necessary to be a top athlete, let alone let that performance uh, show to others and in, in the rest of the world. So I'm a, I'm a big believer that if you are in the right place mentally, if your brain is operating where the way it should and it's aligned, then certainly you have more than a fair chance to to be in top condition, top form, and allow that performance to speak for itself on a daily basis. Mm, so good. So there was a time in the NFL, in your training, that mindset, you had resources and tools and everything in, to support you into your fitness, right? Correct. Okay. Now, it's been a few years. You've taken some big physical hits, like many NFL players, and fitness is a little bit different right now for you. Totally, 100% different now, because I never realized, and even while playing, it was all about the interaction with my teammates on any level, be it high school, the collegiate level, or the professional level. But I also know that as I 
grew through these channels and got more exposure to the highest level, the more demand mentally it was. Mm. And that's when I started to realize and understand that the game was just as much mental as it was physical. Well, how did and you prepare certainly. for that, Wes? Like, how yeah. did you get that mental mindset to get you the success that you've had? Today, most people go to that quiet place mm-hmm. where you can, uh, a lot of people today, you, they go to yoga to get themselves in that quiet place uh, so that you can think, so that you can calm your nerves, uh, allow those neurons to, to, to give it a chance to get back to the right as opposed to being to the far left. Uh, for me today, I utilize uh, a different tool called Mindset, which is T, uh, TMS, transcranial uh, uh, stimulation. So mm-hmm. that's where I am today because of the repetitive uh, hits that I took as a form of head trauma. So that's a different animal today than it was when I was just uh, a young athlete that relied on God's gift which was just talent alone. Yes, yes. So you've created resources for athletes, for those that have had PTSD, those that have had brain traumas, real resources that you have utilized yourself that are truly making a difference in connecting those synapses, yes? Yes, yes. And and the reason why uh, those collaborating uh, partners uh, – exist today is because we don't think about uh, the important factors that come with participating in athletics, and it's not just football. Football itself gets the most, especially the National Football League or pro football players, they get the most attention because of the, the, the issues that we face every day in our society, and it's not just an athletic issue, it's a societal issue where we go through uh, thoughts of uh, our memory loss, depression, aggressive behavior, right. uh, suicidal tendencies. All of this is brain health. And today where I sit, I realize, I realize today that I'm in a better situation to help my fellow uh, athletes, military veterans who defended this country and allowed me to play the sport at the highest level and, and sleep well at night because our military veterans suffer from PTSD, which is a TBI, traumatic brain injury as well. And these are issues, common issues that we face in our society. A chronic traumatic encephalopathy is nothing more than accelerated Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. Yet it is the, the one factor that plague our, our NFL players today. Soccer players go through this repetitive head trauma as well. And boxing has been going on since 1928. Yeah. It's called punch drunk syndrome. Mm. So it's not just football players. It's every sport that exposes a young kid to repetitive head trauma. And so we don't think about those things as parents. Parents are faced with three, well, three issues. But the most common issue that parents face with their, their youth is the coaches who's teaching my kid? That's right. Uh, in team sports, are they mature enough to recognize that it's not about them, but the interaction of the kids just in participating in these sports? Mm-hmm. Yet you have a lot of coaches that go off on other coaches. They go off on the kids in front of the parents. That's not coaching. That's not guidance. That's not teaching. And so parents are highly concerned. And they're, they're, too often times we do not take a long look at the guy or the individual that's teaching our kid. We don't think about their background. We don't do background checks for the most part. And then all of a sudden you go to a soccer field or, and to see our kids participate or a youth football game and the coach is just going off, just going off with no real respect uh, for the reason for why mm-hmm. our kids are participating, which is interaction. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so the second part is the fact that when our kids participate in team sports, it's the cost factor. 
the cost factors today are very, very high to allow our kids to participate in sports, yes, yet we would like to, for them to have that alternative as opposed to playing video games, et cetera, right. being on their cell phones. That's right. Interaction is a great part of our mm-hmm. growth, right? Our, it's our foundation. And then third, but more most important, is concussion. When you participate in a sport, we don't realize it, but these sports subject us and it exposes us to the opportunity to have head trauma. And enough head trauma over time is what creates chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Okay, so Wes, what can we do to support parents right now that are wrestling like, my kids want to play football, they want to play lacrosse, right? And and you've got these coaches that are like, you know, you go, you go, you push through, you push through. Like, how can a parent be set up for success right now? I know they can go research the background, the style of the coach, but if that child has had injury, what would you recommend? Where do they go? I would recommend that they go directly to our website for the educational part of it. That's the reason why uh, professional football players, current and formal, uh, have been at a disadvantage for so long. Okay, They were at a disadvantage because they did not have a preventative uh, type of product uh, to keep them in a quality of life position. Okay. And for young mm-hmm. kids, we don't, we, kid falls off a hobby horse just in gymnastics with the opportunity to have concussion. That's right. Or soccer. And you know, Wes, kid, I, Wes, I see we, soccer games today, and kids are being taken out. That's right. You know? That's right. So it's about preventing, it's about identifying, and about treating. So we want to direct yes, people is. to your website. So how can people reach out and get the information they need to make a powerful choice and to support their kids? They can reach they can reach us at www.wcteinc.org. Got it. Tell me That's again. www.wcteinc.org. That's right. You heard it. www.wcteinc.org. Wes Chandler, thank you so much for your time today. You are an absolute gem, and we're going to talk to you again soon. Thank you for being with us on the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. This is your host, Kim Yater, with our foundation segment. We'll be right back. We are live on KCAA Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM, following broadcasts in 102.3 FM and 106.5 FM. We are serving over 5 million households in the Inland Empire, North County, San Diego, Orange County, and San Gabriel Valley. We are serving the world one household at a time. We are also in iHeart, Spotify, Tiki Live, Ustream, Apple, iTunes, and anywhere with your favorite podcast. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Up Connect, and Kim Yater Peak Performance Coaching.